readers, it's Shed Time Stories with me, Izzy. Are you ready to share a new story? Well, I have chosen a truly wonderful story to share. The title is Sally Sapling, a little tree with a big history. If you have this book at home, you can read along with me. The author, the person who has written this story, and the illustrator, the person who has drawn all the pictures, is Sarah Lee Wills. Now we're going to join Sally, a beautiful copper beech tree, and we're going to travel through the decades and see some of the major events that she's experienced. I wonder what they are. Shall we read and find out? Sally Sapling, the little tree with a big history. There once was a baby tree who felt lost and all alone. Sally Sapling, the little copper beech with her exceptional tone. 1920s One day in the park, Sally went flying into the shade of an elegant parasol. A kind hand reached down and scooped Sally up and placed her in a brimming leaflet bowl. 1930s In a new place, Sally then grew, her roots growing as far as any tree would. The sun shining, making her leaves glow stretching as high as little Sally could. 1940s Sally saw how war came and went with all the surrounding fear. But Sally remained strong for those holding their loved ones near. Times grew hard for many she knew. Some would pass and ask her why. But all Sally could do is listen and comfort them as they cry. 1950s Trees lost their leaves as seasons changed. But Sally's saplings always stayed. Her friends would rock and roll around her, laughing and giggling in her shade. 1960s Summer nights with friends and music and flowers in their hair. As thousands visited and left their mark, happy days without a care. One starry night, Sally looked up high at the splendid moon shining bright. Two men she knew were standing there, but to her they were out of sight. 1970s One summer, Sally was so warm it was the hottest of them all. Many took shelter beneath her. Sometimes it helps to be extra tall. 1980s Over the years, Sally had not changed. She just took in all that she saw. Like when men came and marched about mining days and law. Lovers often visited Sally and picnicked under her leaves, telling tales of days together and the rights they believe. 1990s As time passed, Sally grew wise. And she came to see that gadgets were the new thing, now filling her friends with glee. 2000 
decade after decade, Sally had stood tall. She's a true copper wonder and has really seen it all. 2010s Colours, lights and celebrations as Olympic athletes came by. Runners, swimmers and gymnasts all came along to say hi. 2020s The world is dramatically changing. It's time we start to do. We share this space together. Animals, plants and humans too. A very special visitor came to admire Sally's splendour, to celebrate 100 years of her amazing adventure. People now come from far and wide to marvel in her beauty, standing tall and as rich as ever, honoured to her duty. So when you see a tree, always do remember that Sally's always listening from January till December. Oh, what a wonderful story that was. And how interesting it was to see all those major historic events that Sally's experienced while she's grown from a little sapling into a magnificent copper beech tree. Sally got to experience the Olympics, the moon landing, and she had a rather special visitor, the Queen. I wonder if you look back through this book, maybe you could find out some more information about historic events, things that have happened in the past. I hope you've enjoyed this Shed Time Story and if you want to, you can like, share, follow and subscribe to Shed Time Stories. Then you'll be ready for the next book for us to share together. Bye bye! Da, da, da.